just the NSA, and it's definitely not just people looking for terrorists. Now, the sad thing with all of this is that all we've learned in the last year about privacy and about SOPA, PIPA, CISPA, and all the ways they're trying to destroy the internet and you know use their smart home technology to surveil and spy on us at every move, people, they seem to be pushing back for this privacy while at the same time buying the latest technology that absolutely destroys any possibility of having privacy in your own home or out in public. It is the great paradox. Everyone wants to have the latest and greatest new technology. Well, Google announced its 3D mapping services for phones, right, back in February. Well, now they've announced a 3D tablet that will use its scanning sensors to map your home and give you directions. But the directions won't just stop at the street location, now they're gonna show you exactly where to go inside a building. Now, as usual, this technology is being sold for all the bonuses it can be used for. They say interior designers will love it for home furniture shopping, or they suggest creepily that you can use it for interactive hide and seek. Now, I don't know about you, but that's not a very big good selling point for me because all I can think about is a horror movie plot where the killer is basically finding you by using his little 3D tablet and finding out where you are hiding in your home. And that is freaky to me, but that's, you know, you heard it here first. That's going to be the next horror movie that's out. But really, all I've noticed, you know, since people have had GPS technology is that people have no sense of direction. They have no sense of direction. They they don't know where they're going in life. What a great metaphor for life. Put the phone down. Now we report a lot here about the assault on women. Uh, we've got, you know, estrogen mimickers and endocrine disruptors. Well, now a new study is linking antibacterial agent triclosan to breast cancer cell growth. Now, triclosan is a known endocrine disruptor, and it alters the normal metabolism and concentration of hormones in the human body. It's been a topic of controversy for many years, and it's found in common household items like soaps and even toothpaste. Well, this latest study indicates that triclosan could even lead to the increased growth of breast cancer cells. Now, we've talked, like I said, a lot about these endocrine disruptors. They function by mimicking the action of a naturally produced hormone, such as estrogen or testosterone, and they set off a similar chemical reaction in the body, so it confuses the body. It can block hormone receptors in cells, preventing the action of the normal hormones, and it also can alter the concentration of natural hormones. Now, several large manufacturers have already signaled that they're gonna be removing triclosan from their products due to these dangers, but endocrine disrupting chemicals can still be found on the shelves in numerous personal care items. So triclosan, that's something you definitely wanna look at the label for. One of the other things that they are, um, you can see that in the study there, it's found in pesticides, but the big scary thing is that they don't have to label all of these dangerous ingredients because they can just bundle them all up together and that is one of the big things that they're fighting for is to have these things labeled so that you will know when triclosan is in one of these products. Now, of course, it's really difficult to just keep track of everything that is harmful to our bodies and all the assault that is out there, especially women. We are definitely susceptible and, you know, all of our unborn children are also going to be feeling the results of this. Um, coming up later in the show, we'll hear from Dr. Group, who's going to break this down even Further, and that's going to be some very important information you don't want to miss. But coming up next, we know that the, the media is constantly trying to censor the news. But what happens when that censorship backfires and becomes very apparent? All that and more is coming up next, right after this. We've seen people leave the mainstream media. Amber Lyon leaves CNN, and more recently Cheryl Atkinson leaves CBS. They talk about the censorship that happens at the major networks and about how their stories are often forced to take an unnatural turn. Now we have this story from Infowars.com, the Corpse News Network. CNN airs footage showing dead body. So we'll show you the footage first, then I'll come back and give you my commentary. And I will warn you that what you're about to see is graphic in Cummings, Georgia, which is north of Atlanta. Apparently, a deputy has been shot. I'm not sure what that was on, but get that off 
the air. I'm not sure what that was. So you heard um, the anchor say, I'm not sure what that was, but get it off the air. I believe referring to this, this is somebody, from what I can tell, seems to be handcuffed, bloodied, beaten, and also dragged behind the SWAT wagon. Well, my question is, where are the first responders? Where's, where's the ambulance? What happened to the police? It seems like this guy was dragged here and just dumped out here like a bag of trash. And as you recall, last year, the shooting at the Lone Star College in Houston, CNN also ran a clip and they said, hey, get that off the screen because of what you might see. Well, what I might see is the truth. We saw reports where CNN and other corporate media, cable channels were saying, we're not going to show you the live helicopter feeds out of KHOU in Houston in case you see something uh, you know, violent and see something bad to protect you. The Harris, North Harris campus is on lockdown. This is an active situation. We are not showing you live pictures because, because, because of what, what we may possibly see. As a result, we are showing you delayed tape pictures. Because you think about foreign media, they'll show you these things, they'll show you about people being shot, stabbed, whatever, where here in the States, you're lucky to see somebody get in a fight at a liquor store. It's completely ridiculous. Why can't they show these things? And I understand, you know, you have small children and other people who may be watching these things. Okay, so you don't re-air it at some point, but if it's happening live, this is real live news. InfoWars here, we'll go out. We don't even have these big satellite trucks and helicopters. We'll go out there on an iPhone and shoot something live because if that's what we have to work with, that's what we have to work with because we want to show you the truth unless you sort it out for yourself afterwards. But why they won't show you like this, other mainstream networks will show you things like this. Uh, not uh, uh, not Congresswoman Harmon, let me, let me interrupt you. Congresswoman, let me interrupt you just for a moment. We've got some breaking news out of Miami. Stand by, if you will. Right now in Miami, Justin Bieber has been arrested on a number of charges. The judge is reading the charges, including resisting arrest and driving under the influence. He's appearing now before the judge for his body. And this is what the mainstream networks try to pass off as real news and information. Bieber fever. Breaking news stories about guys who wear diaper pants and throw eggs at people. Even President Obama has to joke about how MSNBC does not have an audience. But if you'd like to join the growing audience of the alternative media, you can go to Infowars.com. Joined with Anthony Gucciardi here in the studio, we have Dr. Group at his lab, and he's going to take us around and show us a little bit of what's there. We've been seeing pictures of the crystals. They've got a very good source of iodine from taken from 7,000 feet below the Earth's surface. Why? Because they want to make sure that it's not contaminated with radiation from Fukushima. Many sources of iodine use seawater, or they're taken from a shallow area where it could be contaminated. So they get it from very deep below the surface. They test it with uh, for radiation presence and we've just been talking to him about solutions to the toxins and the emf that you come across in your in your life i mean he's talking about how those things affect you negatively and uh dr group what can you tell us about the lab there about the process and let's just be clear this isn't just about iodine the reason mm -hmm. this lab is so key and the reason why dr group is so key is because as they go around prescribing people antidepressant drugs, they're also shutting down natural manufacturers that have super high quality grade uh, manufacturing techniques. Yes. Dr. Group's lab is literally a jewel of the natural health industry. It is the best, it is the highest state of the art. We should be thankful it exists and we should fight for it. So anyway, thank you, Dr. Group. Well, thanks. Yeah, this is behind the scenes footage and this is very rare because most manufacturing facilities will not let you back behind closed doors. Uh, because we're so transparent and because we want to show people, you know, the whole processing, we want to show how effective it is. This footage is uh, made available exclusively to the InfoWars uh, Life team and InfoWars customers. So uh, right here, what you're going to see is you're going to see the iodine production room. As you can see, we use all glass vessels. Uh, you'll see a vessel mixing the actual iodine, and this is very rare. You know, these these vessels are extremely expensive. Uh, they're made of borosilicate glass. I'm going to tell you from touring th hundreds of manufacturing facilities in the past that nobody hardly ever uses full glass vessels. They use stainless steel, which can be contaminated, and especially when you're dealing with iodine is a oxidizing substance. You want to make sure that it's done in all glass. So uh, it's a lot harder to do. Everything here is made by hand. 
Uh, I'm going to take you over to the quarantine room here, which is where all the ingredients come in. You know, this is very important because they all have to be tested. They all have to be approved. They have to be tested for.